Please Indeed. welcome to the show, Andrew Turner. Great to have on the show. Now, meet glue. We're going to get onto that, but it's going to be used to stick this fish together. It is indeed. Kind yeah. of thing. Yeah. Right, off we go. What's so, the name of it? It's well, we're doing a, a Soul Jubilee, yeah. a Diamond Jubilee, as it's Jubilee Week, yeah. uh, with an apple and fennel sap salad, uh, some yeah. salsify, yeah. and, and um, a little sauce to go with it. A little sauce to go with it. Now, I know you want that sauce. one in. This one's going to cook. We'll get that right. going now. Okay. In we go. And then, uh, right, you want me to do the little sauce? Yeah, if you shallots? can just, yeah, if you can get the shallots, <coughs> the mushrooms, the bouquet, the bouquet garni, yep. a little bit of the fennel head without the uh, yep. actual dill, and then a little chopped up, fish stock, and, and meat stock. Yeah, and, and a little and bit of red wine. Okay, oh, pork. Right, pork. Right, okay. And that so, can all go in together. So there's your Brixham soles, beautiful, fresh, yep. Ooh, great British product. Lovely, mm. great British product. Yep. Ask the uh, fishmonger to double fillet it for you. Which As is you basically can see, taking it. All out in one piece yeah. on the top. Isn't it, yeah, really? and ask him for the waste. Always ask for the waste because that's what's going to make our sauce. Yeah. So just remove the sole. So that's that. We get the sauce on first of all. So a little bit of butter in. I've got some there. Yeah. That's fantastic. We're going to chop the bones up as well. Yeah. Nip me knife. Can just buy that second. Now fish stock is totally opposite to the meat stock that we've been. Yeah. Yeah. That I was doing. You cook that for about twenty minutes, no more really. Twenty minutes. Yeah. Um, again, always cold water again. Don't boil it. Yeah, a little bit of white wine, aromats like that. It's always good. There you go. There you go. It's gone in there as well. Yeah. So tell us about this restaurant then, Wilton's, because it's fascinating history with it, really. Well, Wilton's, uh, you know, been around since uh, 1742. Yeah. Um, iconic restaurant. Real classics from you know uh, lobster and crab and <clears throat> game yeah. when it's in season. Yeah. Um, but you specialise in oysters, don't you? Really? An oyster. Um, yeah. Of course, oysters. I mean, it's, yeah. a, it's a signature dish, really. And, yeah. you know, you can't get better oysters than at Wilton's, I have to say. So, uh -huh. so anyway. You know. Uh, yeah, 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 absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. I knew you would say that, but there you go. go on. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, just, I'm just wheeling to get in there one night. <laughs> right, <laughs> right, now, it's a deal. Now, tell us about this, then, because so, this is the intriguing with a bit. double filleted um, sole. Yeah. Got some ham or pancetta. You just light down the centre, like that. Mind your jumper, just in case. No problem. The meat yeah. glue, again, it's you know it's important. It's a product. Do not inhale it. Uh, <laughs> very, be very careful what you do with it. Yeah. Treat it with caution, and just a little bit down the sides of the fish. This will actually stick the fish together. It will glue it together. Now you can get this on the internet. On the internet, yeah. Yeah. You can yeah, indeed. And this is what it's like a protein, isn't it? Yeah, really? it's a protein. Yeah. It's yeah. just it's enzymes that will, that will form the the protein to stick together. Right. And then you place the outside fillet on the outside, so presentation side out, like that. Okay. We just literally then just trim it up so it's nice and neat. Again, trimmings in the sauce, lovely. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Any no dark? Waste. No waste. No, no waste. You can't. I, mean, see, I think everything in cooking is about using the waste that you have. Um, I don't like to put anything in the bin, really. No. no just no. It's all about the money. We have to be careful. Mm. So there's your sole fillet. Yeah. Glued together. And this glue generally glue. It will glue it, yeah. yeah. I mean, yeah. I, what's great about it is like, things like at Christmas time, um, you can have a, a turkey leg, bone the turkey leg, and ask the butcher to bone it out. Yeah. Put your stuffing down the centre, a little bit of the glue, clean film it up, roll it tight, let yeah. it set up overnight, which is important. And, um, you know, again, when you carve it, it will remain perfectly round, it won't split open on you. Right. I think Does that's... it taste of anything? Or no, not, no, not at all. Absolutely not, not, not a taste. Not. Yeah. They say the Japanese invented it, but I've got a feeling that. The uh, Danish should be used quite a lot, yeah, don't yeah. they? Yeah. yeah. So that, we pop that in the fridge for four hours. Right. And that's just to leave it to set, is it? Leave it to set up, yeah. Right, okay. Now, with that, you're poaching it. So I'll turn that down no, a little turn bit. It's a bit fast, yeah. There you go. Turn that down a touch. <laughs> and then you want me to turn that over. I'll just flip it over. So this one's about. Where did this clean film thing come from? It's always intrigued me because you I'll... never used to hear about it. Now it's now everyone it's seems yeah. to, you know. I mean, it's a, it's a useful product, without a doubt, uh, for preserving things as well. Mm. Um, mm. For me, I'm cooking now. I don't want the water to come in contact yeah, with it. I yeah. want it to stay around. I want it just to taste of soul. And there's no aromats flavouring it. The soul is just good on its own. Absolutely, so, yeah. yeah. Right, we've got a little salad here. These are yep. little um, batons of apple, little fine little batons. The, uh, and there's a little bit of... Uh, Celery. Uh, the uh, fennel's gone in there as well. <laughs> Some fennel pollen with that. Right, fennel pollen. Mm. I don't think Julia will be doing this, though, my wife, because she, she hates fennel. All oh, right. <laughs> well, well you, can do, you can do, you can sell it's celery. Yeah. It will work yeah. very well. Yeah. 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 You know, you... With celery salt. Celery. Oh, yeah. celery. And this fennel pollen is great. Now, you're going to serve this with some uh, salsify, which, you're doing now, which is this stuff. So. Yeah. Again, when, you, when you're preparing this, gloves on, you know, give it a really, really good wash, peel it, 
cook it in salted boiling water with a bit of lemon. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Don't leave it exposed to the air and don't undercook it. If you undercook it when you fry it, it will just go rock hard. Right, okay. So as you can see, it's quite soft. Yeah. And put that in the pan just to... So you normally peel these and put them in... Uh, so it's, yeah, it's all toward with lemon juice. Lemon juice it. water. Now, but, they call them the oyster plant, don't they, really, yeah. these things? Yeah. I mean, it's a very... Yeah, I love the... I love that product. You know, it's one of the... One vegetables, I think, is, is versatile, and it's tasty. Yeah. It's very no. seasonal as well. Yeah. It's just coming out of season now, but it's still just about it. And yeah. it's right, now, so explain to us the sauce. That's what we started off with. Yeah. This so is we've, what we end up with. Yeah. As you can see, it's reduced right the way down, and we just pass that off. Right. And it's gone dark, but I'm assuming, because of the pot and the... Uh, yeah. A little bit of meat you in there as well. So. And that's a, that's a great consistency. Right. I'll probably just put a bit of heat under that. There you go. And the salsa for you is just going to brown off. Makes great enough. soup, that, as well, doesn't it? I've never tried a salsa for soup. Yeah, I'm, I'm, really. I can understand that. It would be fantastic. Nice little soup. Right. Uh, and don't forget that you can find all today's recipes, including this one from Andrew, on our website. Go to bbc.co.uk forward slash Saturday Kitchen. You can find dishes from our previous shows at bbc.co.uk forward slash recipes. Right. I've got this little salad here. This yeah. has got the fennel tops, a little bit of dill. Yeah. Um, we've got this, uh, the uh, fennel in there and the finely... Uh, well, apple. little julienne of apple, but yeah. very fresh, dressing. vinaigrette, best olive oil, yeah. and you're going to have a very good vinaigrette. Okay, that goes right. in there. Right, six minutes on that fish, so it'll probably right. come out now. There you go, and you're just going to colour these, yeah? Yeah, just colour them. Okay. Again, you know, you, it's always important to check the fish is cooked, just probe the centre of it, or try it with a little fork, try yeah. it on your lip. It's always a good trade. If it's warm, warm to hot, you're ready to go. Now, if about, it's the, cold, about no. the restaurant, do you still look at all the old classics, like the Rossini and that kind of stuff? That's still... definitely something I could put on the menu at Wilms. Right. Without a doubt. You know, Rossini's and Souls, yeah. anything like that. Obviously, our classic food we have, we also have the tasting menus. In the tasting menus, this is the sort of food that I used to do that I've brought to Wilton's. That, yeah. that, that it also gives that 100 round ship of what you can, you know, eat at Wilton's. It's not that's just the classics. Me. Right, well, that's done. This, this fish is out, so I'll leave you to uh, check that. I'll just get some scissors. I've got some paper there. That's done. It's out of minutes, isn't it? Mm. It's minutes, poached for minutes. It's minutes. Yeah. yeah. But once these are cooked, that's the great thing about the salsa fee. Once these are cooked, they don't need to be lemon juiced again, so... That's still a little bit under. Because they retain everything, yeah? Watch it for a second, yeah. 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 It doesn't take very long, then. So again, if I was at work, what the thing I would probably do with that is keep it in a vacuum bag. So yeah, you and your vacuum bags, you see. People haven't got vacuum bags so at home. that's why I've done the cleaning. Hoover thing. bags, that's about <laughs> it. <laughs> <laughs> vacuum bags. <laughs> right. And, and I forgot, Andrew, how did you do that vegetable there, that root so vegetable? Vegetables. So it's cooked in salted water. Yeah. Uh, a little bit of lemon, yeah. until it's really tender. Take it out and then just pan fry it, a little bit of clarified uh, butter. Right, okay. Or olive oil, if you prefer. Yeah. This is ready now. Okay. I'll leave that over. Oh, have tried it yet. Season it. Oh, fish. Mm. It's very small, very melty. Mm. Oh, look at that palette knife. Yeah, and you can see the glue has actually stuck it, stuck it together. You've got the ham in the centre there. Yeah. Down the centre. Lovely combination. What a lovely combination. The salad on great. the top. Oh, doesn't mm. it just? Yeah. Here we go again. Yeah, sauce. <laughs> Here yeah. we go again. Here we go yeah. again. <laughs> Lovely. <laughs> it's an easy show, this, isn't it? Oh, I love it. Here. Can I come every week? <laughs> <laughs> and then this stuff. Now, we've not used this stuff before no, on Saturday Kitchen. It's uh, caviar oil. Right. It's named after me. It's Turner's Caviar Oil. Uh -huh. And I literally... Uh -huh. How sexy is that to have an oil? This just takes That's very oil. sexy. Yeah. <laughs> very sexy. I want an oil made. Yeah. 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 I want an oil made after me. <laughs> Get a life. <laughs> <laughs> what do you call that again? So it's uh, Dover Soul Silver Jubilee. Oh, that's what well it is. Damn, that's brilliant. <laughs> Andrew, your Diamond Jubilee Soul dish is all about celebration. I'm keen to find something that will match it to perfection. But for a wine matcher, it's quite a tricky dish, this, because we've got the pancetta, the port wine reduction, the fennel, and the apple. The wine I want has got to combine acidity with some sweetness. Something maybe like this German wine, Dr. Luce and Riesling. But I think I found something that's even better and slightly off the wall. It's the 2010 Couronne de Plantagenet Vouvray.
Chenin Blanc, the variety behind Vouvray, is one of the world's great grapes. It's mostly grown in South Africa and France's Loire Valley, and it comes in a bewildering multitude of styles, from dry to sweet, still to sparkling. This one's off dry, and it's perfect with fish dishes like this. On the nose, it's floral and unoaked with some lovely touches of apple and honey. On the palate, the sweetness here works with the shallots and the port wine sauce. Acidity is perfect with those apples and the salty pancetta and some little herbal undertone that picks up on the dill and the fennel. This wine has got plenty of flavour but it's subtle enough to partner that soul. Andrew, there's even a royal connection here, Couronne being the French for crown, even if it's the Plantagenets rather than the Windsors. Hope you like it.